Well, first up, after multiple warnings from the U.S. President and his top diplomat Rex Tillerson, Pakistan has now been given an ultimatum for providing safe haven to the Taliban and other terror networks. The stern message was delivered by Vice President Mike Pence during his unannounced visit to Afghanistan. President Trump has put Pakistan on notice. As the President said, so I say now. Pakistan has much to gain from partnering with the United States, and Pakistan has much to lose by continuing to harbor criminals and terrorists. Beyond the battlefield, this Commander-in-Chief has ordered the integration of every facet of American power as well, diplomatic and economic measures to achieve a just and lasting peace here in Afghanistan. And until that day comes, you can be assured we will be relentless in our campaign to destroy our enemies. Pence also said that the Trump administration has given American troops new authorities to directly target the terrorists and militants no matter where they hide. He has also empowered battlefield commanders with the freedom and flexibility they need to win against terrorists. Well, Mike Pence, the U.S. Vice President, who's on an unannounced visit to Afghanistan, a neighboring country of Pakistan, has said that an ultimatum has been given to Pakistan for, uh, breed, for being a home breeding ground for uh, terror organizations and uh, individuals. In fact, uh, this comes just three days after Donald Trump ordered Pakistan to act on terror havens that are bred on its uh, home ground. It seems like finally Pakistan is talking tough on home ground uh, terror in Pakistan. Let's not forget that uh, America, while has been critical of uh, Pakistan for uh, the terror groups and organizations that it has in its country, at the same time has been a key ally to it. Well, Ramesh Ramachandran, our international correspondent, now joins us with more details. Well, uh, Ramesh, we have seen America talk, talk tough uh, about Pakistan uh, even in the recent past. But what does serving an ultimatum really mean to Pakistan and to India, more importantly? Well, uh, Nishita, we've seen uh, everybody from President Trump down, including his foreign minister, Rex Tillerson, Defense Minister James Mattis, and now the Vice President Mike Pence all cautioning or putting Pakistan literally on notice given Pakistan's duplicity and complicity on the issue of uh, terrorism, both targeted against Afghanistan and India. From India's perspective, they should have the problem as India sees it that while Pakistan may still uh, be seen to be doing something against those groups operating against Afghanistan in particular, namely the Haqqani group. Pakistan continues to uh, you know, uh, push off uh, all suggestions of taking actions against those groups that operate against India in particular, namely Lashkar-e Taiba, the jaish e Mohammeds, uh, and Hafiz Sahib of the world. So clearly, there is a distinction between Pakistan is making, making against those groups targeting Afghanistan and those that target India. So, from, from India's perspective, uh, India says that Pakistan needs to come clean on the issue of terrorism if Trump's South Asia strategy needs to succeed, which was announced in August this year. Well, thank you, Ramesh, for uh, joining us and sharing that information. Well, there you are.